Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk. This is just a quick little um, update video on the um, my um, Dell, what is it, um, Precision um, T5400 um, workstation. As you saw in my previous video, I put some more RAM in it and um, I was having some issues getting all the 32GB uh, of RAM to actually work. I was only seeing 24GB um, of the 32 in Windows, even though it was sort of showing it up in the um, computer um, in the BIOS and it was forever coming up with a memory error when you uh, reboot it like it was doing previously uh, just making this quick video to say thanks ever so much for everyone that um, commented um, on the video and through your comments and uh, reading through them I've, I've actually managed to sort it out I've um, actually got the full 32 gig of uh, RAM well not that <laughs> uh, I've got 32 gig of RAM working now in the computer, um, and it was a lot of what a lot of people were saying. There seemed to be um, one bank not behaving quite right, and that was indeed the problem. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just get you um, down on the screen, and we'll reboot the computer, and I'll show you basically how I've um, how I've got round it and how it's now working. So let's, um, I'll just, uh, sorry this makes you feel a little bit um, sick, but never mind, you should be okay. We'll get you down like that, I'll get you up and I'll get you, um, I'll get you a bit more zoomed in on the screen. There we go, that should do. Right, and we'll give that, uh, we'll give the computer a restart and get into the, uh, get into the old uh, BIOS and you can see what's um, see what's happening. Let's try turning that off. That might work. That might be a bit better. We can go down a little touch. There we are. Alright, so we'll let the computer reboot and we'll just hit F2. And get into the setup. Was it Remember from the previous video, every time you rebooted the computer, um, it was basically coming up with an error, and um, you press F2 and it'll bring you into the uh, BIOS here. And when you went down to the memory, um, you know, it was showing, um, I think it was showing 24 gig there, but it was showing 4 gig in each bank, but only um, showing up as 24 gig up there. And if you remember, I had. Um, one of the banks coming up as um, a times four when all the others are times eight there and I think that was the issue um, I can't, I'm not 100% how this works but I presume there's two different types of RAM, I don't know one's slightly faster than the other, slightly slower, I don't know these um, but what I ended up doing was I, I tried it with, basically I identified the one um, RAM module that was coming up as the um, X4 where all the others were um, coming up as X8 I'm not 100% sure what that means, I don't know if it's the multiplier or um, what because uh, they all come up as 4 gig anyway I pulled them two um, modules out so I just had 6 in put all 6 in and the computer ran fine as um, uh, um, what's it, uh, 24 gig and Looks like absolutely no problem there. Um, I then I, I just thought there might be something wrong with the um, dim because I noticed there was quite a bit of tarnishing actually on the edge of the dim. So I actually got my uh, fiberglass pen and I cleaned all the um, edge connectors on the um, memory modules. It didn't make any difference at all. And then I actually noticed that that one. Um, modules a very 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 slightly different part number to um, all the other ones anyway so what I did is I took two of the modules that I've been using previously um, and put them in now it's brought them up like I said they're not showing us the same in the banks these are all four and the other two modules which are the different uh, type um, are coming up as like a two but it's all working now. I can reboot the computer. We'll reboot. Um, exit. So we'll reboot the computer, and um, it will just work perfectly now.
Right. Obviously it all fires up nicely now and if we check, like I said, if we're checking the windows, computer, properties, you can see now we're showing up, we've got the full 32 gig available. Uh, I don't know what it's made, where it's made much of a difference speed wise to be honest. Um, I'm just, it's just nice that it seems that everything is actually working as it should. Uh, a few people commented on this um, Windows Experience Index thing as well. And yeah, you're right, it's a, it comes up basically the slowest thing in your computer is what actually holds that back. And in my case, in this computer, it's actually the hard drive. It's, um, it's the hard drive which is the, seems to be the slowest thing in here. Now, I do have a possible solution to that, something I'm going to try. Um, a while back, a mate of mine gave me, um, gave me that. It's, um, it's not a very big one, I think it's only like 80 gig or 60 gig or something like that, but it is um, an Intel um, SSD. Um, problem with it is, and the reason I was giving it, it's actually broken. If you look on the back there, it had a little bit of um, a fall with the cable connected, and it's actually broken the data the data connection off the um, SATA drive there. Now, what I'm hoping that there is a fairly standard like SATA connector that you find on all little two and a half inch hard drives. Now, over here, ooh, I can have a quick circle. So, knocking everything off the table. I have a dead two and a half inch SATA hard drive, and it is dead. Uh, there's some there's something shorted in that because if you um, connect it up to a computer, the power supply won't even power up. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with the um, edge connector on there. So what I'm hoping to do is, um, and I probably will do a video on this. I'm going to attempt to um, reclaim the connector off there and fit it onto that SSD there and we'll see oh it's like I say it's only 80 gig it's not a huge drive or anything um, but we'll see if that is going to um, give us any performance increase like I say all it will be used for is the operating system really um, I'll just have the uh, Windows XP not Windows XP Windows 7 um, on the SSD um, I'll use the I think my main drive in here is about 500 gig. I'll um, use that for all my programs. And I've actually just stuck. I found when I was um, looking for some other things, it's something I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, I found uh, another hard drive lying around, a SATA hard drive. Um, what is it, about 300? Yeah, um, 300 gig um, SATA hard drive there. So, which needs formatting, I think. Yeah, I think I need to farm like that. I think it's just got some um, some bits and bats on it. I don't sure. Is there anything in there? Yeah, it's sure it's got a hundred meg. Um, you, oh, I don't know. I'll give it another farm out or something. But we've got um, a spare hard drive there that I can basically use as a um, video store, which is something I've been lacking for a while because I've been using just the one main hard drive in here. And it can speed up when you're doing a few when you're doing video stuff. If you've got all your um, files that you're working off of on a separate disk from um, what you're at the program you're actually uh, running. I remember that from when I used to do a bit of proper video editing and photo editing years and years ago. But so yeah, um, thanks to everyone that um, commented on the um, video previously. And just to, this is literally just to say you know I've actually managed to. Um, sort the issue out. Um, I'm not doing anything else with the um, graphics or uh, the graphics card or anything. I know a few people have commented, you know, it's not going to make a huge difference that um, Radeon card compared with what I was using previously because, like I said, it's a 3D accelerator card. But I don't, I, I don't know whether it's just the fact that it's a half decent card where this is as cheap as you can possibly uh, lay your hands on. Uh, but I have noticed um, when I was having a fiddle with the um, my video editing software um, just before just before I started making this um, video, 
it does run a little bit smoother you know it scrolls smoother it's not as laggy as it used to be and I think that was just down to the fact that that uh, video card is just a little bit better than what I was using so you're know, all in all I'm really quite pleased with um, what I've got running um, up to now this this computer should do me for the moment until um, you know funds allow for me to um, upgrade but <laughs> funds are not uh, funds are not plentiful at the moment so that's why I want to you know stick with this system as long as um, I can because it's a nice system I mean it was expensive when it was new even though I didn't pay very much for it at all but it's so quiet I mean for a real powerhouse of a computer my little office up here is only small and if I shut up that's not a lot of noise I mean you can just hear the faintest of noise running from that computer and that's now with two hard drives in there you know it's got two CPUs cl um, clacking away in there and now 32 gig of RAM and it's it's really quiet that system so it doesn't grate on you like some of the old um, old powerful systems um, the ones that even I've had in the past the um, noisy buggers really compared with this anyway I'm going to leave it there for now like I say it was literally just a little update to say um, you know thanks for all the comments and um, I did actually manage to sort the problem out so uh, until the next video, uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.